Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. In this episode, uh, we're going to talk about the job of the Colonial Cooper. What is a Cooper? Well, the Cooper made uh, barrels and casks. And if you think about it, most things were transported in barrels and casks. Back then, liquids and important things that people, flour, gunpowder, tobacco, all the commodities, um, wine and milk. In the ancient times, um, we would be talking about an amphora, which is a clay vessel. But in these days, in the colonial days, it was a barrel. And someone had to make these barrels. Now, how do you make a wooden barrel watertight? And that is where the craft comes in, that when you make a barrel, you know, it's made up of these pieces of wood that all have to fit together perfectly. And if you think about it, you got one piece of wood and another piece of wood. There can't be so much as that much of a gap or it would leak. So they have to be fitted in perfectly. So not only did they have to fit together vertically, but they also had to be tapered in a way to make them fit together. Uh, side to side. So if we were looking at the end of this, we'd see one piece of wood, we'd see the next piece of wood, and they had to taper in. Each piece of wood had to taper in to fit up against the next piece of wood that would be next to it. So this and this, this is also sort of ends up curving. So this was an art form um, and people trained a lot of coopers worked on plantations. They called them hogsheads, these these containers, these um, things they needed to ship um, tobacco and um, other 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 uh, products. Uh, some coopers worked in towns, but a lot of highly skilled ones worked in plantations. So as they put these pieces of wood together, we'll make it look like wood. We'll give it some little character here try to give it some texture. Now, in this, let's look here. If this is the inside of what's going to be the barrel, inset in here would be a round disc that had to be set back into a little groove here to make that work. So this would be sealed on the top and bottom. And then to hold the whole thing together, the linchpin of the whole affair would be this metal strapping that went on the outside and held it very tightly together to make it watertight. So the job of the cooper was hard work, took a lot of strength, took a lot of skill. You had to apprentice and learn how to be a cooper. But I can't think of a more important job in a time that we moved products around inside barrels uh, than to be the person who makes the barrels. We'll see you next time.